All right, welcome back. This is the next video in the series. Uh, in this case, we're going to move to the more classical machine learning um, segmentation. So it's the first segmentation using machine learning, but not deep learning yet. This is what I'm going to demonstrate is the traditional um, tool that was first developed. Um, it's uh, still so quite impressive, but it's not widely used at the moment. So I want to demonstrate this using a data set of mine. Let me just find it quick. It's a session file of a chameleon head, a three-horned chameleon. So um, what I'm going to do here, I've, what I've got is a, a chameleon head looking like this, and I'm not going to worry about the rendering anymore. What I want to demonstrate is just to really briefly that the bone structures inside this chameleon, if we'd like to segment that out for whatever purpose, it's a nice case for deep learning because a lot of it is missed by normal segmentation, so by thresholding. So if you manually threshold like this, in this case, it's looking okay, but if you look like inside, there's some dense parts which are over-segmented there, and then there are some parts which are absolutely missed in where the bone is quite thin. So this is exactly where deep learning can be trained to, or machine learning in general can be trained to help out and possibly improve the segmentation. So if it's better in this case, I don't know. I just thought it's a nice example to demonstrate. So what we're gonna do is we need for any machine learning tools in Dragonfly, we need to provide uh, a ground truth labeling of, of pixels. And in this case, for the traditional machine learning segmentation, which is there, it's found under AI machine learning segmentation, we need to create a multi ROI with sparse labeled data. So we go to the segment tab, create a new ROI. Let's call, call it the ground truth sparse data. And um, Oops, I did, it, I did it wrong actually. Let me just delete that again. I need to create a multi ROI with three classes. We want bone, air and flesh, right? So we need, uh, let's call this sparse data for training. Let's give it a different name this time. It's a multi ROI. So if I move my face around a bit, we can see that there's three classes in this multi ROI. Let's make the purple one the air, the red one the flesh, and the green one the bone. So what we need to do, usually in most in the deep learning tools, we need to label all pixels. In this tool, we only need to label some of them. Um, so we're going to be using the brush over here. So we label some pixels. We want that to be included. We want that to be included. And we want that. So we don't need to label everything, but if we give it a, a wide variety, the model will work better. I don't really care how well it comes out because this is a short demo and I don't want to waste too much time on labeling pixels, but we want to label some flesh do that, do that. And we can label the air on the outside. All right, so that's enough. What we need to do is we now need to um, create a, um, if we go to the main tab, a small annotation rectangle so that we can see how well this is doing when we do the training. Right, so we can go to AI machine learning segmentation. So at the moment, I want to create a new model, which I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say this is demo, demo on chameleon. And what we need here on the, as an input is a data set. The sparse data is the output. 
and the mask, there's no mask here. We don't need it in this case. Mask is needed for some of the other tools. Um, there's different algorithms that you can test out. Extra trees is quite a good one, apparently. I'm not an expert on that. Um, what we need to do is we need to give it um, some of these um, features to look for. The activation map is apparently a very good one, and that's all I'm going to use here. You can use multiple of these functions. Um, and then what I then we are ready for training. So let's see um, how that continues. Actually, I made it a region rectangle for visualizing the the training, but actually it's not, you don't see the training progression in this case. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, one of the nice things about machine learning is if you're waiting for training to take place, it's a good time to make, have a coffee. So actually I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna put my video off here. Okay, perfect timing. So it's finished training and it's applying that model to the data set. And that's not a bad segmentation. So it's doing just a single frame here. And of course, you can also label more pixels to get a more accurate result. But that was just to demonstrate how that works. If you want to segment based on that, you can apply that to the entire data set and then you have a multi ROI result, um, which I won't over the entire over all for all slices. So I'm not going to do that now because it also takes some time and there's, it's not really a perfect model. It's actually got some excess materials segmented as bone there, but it's a fast um, and simple machine learning method. All right, so that's all I wanted to cover in this video, actually. Um, let me just have a look here. So this is based on sparse data. We can also do um, sparse data labeling using segmentation wizard, which is the newer tool. So maybe I can demonstrate that on the same, with the same um, concept, but let's stop at this point and start a new video uh, for segmentation wizard. All right, see you in a minute.